Welcome back, everybody. Beyond Boundless is a fundraising concert in support of the 40th anniversary of the Sick Kids Herbing Fund. And joining us today are longtime champs of the cause, three days lead vocalist Matt Walst and drummer Neil Sanderson, as well as former Herbie Fund patient Tudor Brusescu. Good morning, everybody. Hi. Good morning. Okay, we are so excited about this upcoming concert, mm -hmm. which is next Friday, which you can get tickets for. Uh, this is a cause that is so near and dear to your heart. You've been affiliated with it for 16 years now, Matt. Yeah, well, both, both of us have, uh, like, you know, uh, just kind of been inspired by the, some of the stories of some of the children that, um, that you know, are, are, have such a positive effect. You know, the Herbie Fund basically, um, uh, it, it, uh, it provides life-saving, life-altering surgeries for, for children, you know, in parts of the world where they wouldn't normally have access or the, uh, the funds or the ability to, to get these surgeries. So they um, come to Toronto, the doctors uh, volunteer the operations and uh, the Herbie Fund pays for like the, the cost and the medical expenses and the travel and the lodging and stuff like that. You know, 16 mm -hmm. years ago, you guys are, you know, you're climbing, your rock career is going off like crazy. How do you get involved in this and, you know, at that age to say, this is something that we want to be a part of, this is important to us? Um, well, we, we met, uh, we met who is now a really good friend of ours, uh, uh, her name is Lisa Polakowski and she's been really heavily involved in the, uh, in, in the, uh, the Herbie Fund for many years. She's actually here, right over there. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> She's smiling and waving in the yes, wind. Yes, yes, and uh, and j basically, um, just it it started as a, we you know we uh, were first inspired by uh, the fact that it's a very um, it's a very tangible foundation where it's not just a, a, a pool of money that goes somewhere, but it's uh, you can actually meet the patients and the families who have been who have been uh, uh, positively you know uh, that had their lives changed by this. And uh, so we started. We thought maybe we could like uh, get some get some of our peers in the music industry to donate some memorabilia and stuff. And so then we started doing lo like auctions of just uh, cool sign. Um, Autograph stuff and uh, a lot of sports figures jumped in, and we found that it was something that we could easily bring in people, um, and and they would be excited to to join. And, and so it's just grown like that for us. You have a stellar lineup too. Talk to us about aside from you, which is good enough. Yeah, three days there, is there, of course. Yeah. And then you have with Jim, Jim Cuddy. Yeah. 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 Alan yeah. Frew. Alan Frew. Alan Frew. Jackie Richardson. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, and and more. And and it's a it's a night of like uh, you know it's kind of eclectic. There's some sort of uh, like. Dance performance and 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 awards give, being given away and stuff. So it's going to be a lot the of silent fun. auction mm -hmm. items. Yeah, and yeah. we're launching that. Uh, and and there's an online component and uh, and we've got some really cool items. It's lots of signed guitars and guitars that have been played on records, the big songs. And so it's pretty cool. You get to see the picture of the the guy playing the guitar and then. It's, it's all right signed up. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of life-saving work, yes. Tudor, we have to talk to you. If not for the Herbie Fund, you would not be here today. Absolutely not. So talk to us a bit about that. So I was born in uh, Romania, what, 45 years ago. Um, I um, came to Canada simply because um, when I was born, I was born with a tetralogy fallow, which was basically fixed when I was around six years old in Romania. Uh, unfortunately, they... Um, made a mistake and punctured my aortic valve. At that time, what happened was my parents didn't trust the system anymore. Um, I, my life expectancy became much smaller, probably by about 25 or 26 years old, I was gonna be in a wheelchair or pretty much gone. Um, the Herbie Fund um, answered the call to the many, many letters my parents sent out. And um, I came here with, uh, with my mother, the, just the two of us got to bombarded at the airport with cameras and, and all kinds of media. Um, there's actually a picture of me holding my mother's skirt when I was little, you know. But um, they fixed uh, the, issue, the initial issue. I came back a couple of years later um, and um, they decided that, the doctors decided that I needed to do a follow-up surgery to actually have a fully prosthetic uh, aortic valve put in. Yeah. Um, the Herbie Fund picked up the bill both times, and I wouldn't be here today. Uh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't be alive today uh, if it wasn't for the Herbie Fund and for the great work that it does. Um, I have a wife. I have two children, um, and I I run a couple of very successful businesses. Yeah, you do. And uh, <laughs> I'm I'm thankful every single day that the Herbie Fund was able to give me the opportunity to be alive, to do and 
have my family and have all the things that I do today and try to be able to give back as much as I can. Yes, speaking of, so make sure you attend next Absolutely. Friday, Kerner Hall, HerbieFund.com. Get your tickets. It's going to be an incredible night show and for such a great cause. And we'd love to have you guys back because I know you came back from a really life-changing trip to Kenya as well. So if you wouldn't mind, we'd love to hear about that journey. You're always giving back somehow. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Thank you. Not just through your music. Yeah, it was. Uh, Matt and I went down to um, to, to Kenya, and uh, just uh, we were actually there. A friend of ours works at World Vision, and um, and so we just we wanted to go down. You know, sometimes uh, to kind of understand like the challenges that people are facing in different parts of the world, it's it helps to actually go there. You know, and and we came back. It was a life changing uh, trip for us. We got pretty inspired to to just you know to uh, to get involved in in something like that as well, um, and so we're embarking on a bit of a water project uh, for an area that people walk on average six kilometers. And you know, I think um, it, the big picture for us is that we you know we do have this audience, and we have and with social media, and you know with all, with our uh, reach. yeah with three days graces uh, reach. Um, I think it's important, and it's it's uh, it's gra it's gratifying to um, use that reach. To just spread awareness and just uh, let people know how you know how other people are living and the challenges they face, and maybe try to help a few people out. You know, there's so much we can do, and there's yeah. so much we take yeah. for granted. So thank you yeah, so much. You guys have to come back. We got to chat more about that for Absolutely. sure. Yes. Yeah. And let's go Raptors. Okay, over to Mel. <laughs>